Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just thought by to briefly talk to us a little bit about nourishing our souls, right? So have you ever felt like that you're just run, constantly running around on empty, okay? Um, you are, you make sure that you try to get enough sleep, you try to eat right, exercise, even go to church, um, listen to some inspirational messages or some music or what have you, but something still seems to be missing, right? Nothing seems to nourish this parched place within your being, right? And so um, it could that be because our souls is, is, is thirsty for connection with God, right? You know, caring for our souls, it means that slowing down, and being still and allowing God to speak. You know, we take some time in between our busy schedules, our busy activities, and we just be still and allow God to speak to us, right? Uh, we have to take time to sit still, absorb, and to simply listen, right? Um, Psalms 42 and 11 says, Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? And here, you know, is an intentional pause to examine to see, you know, what's going on on the inside, right? And so uh, and it goes on to say, the psalmist goes on to say and commands his soul to put your hope in God. That's all we have to do is put our hope in God because God is the only one that can give us peace that our souls lack, right? We got to pay attention to our emotions, right? Um, to our ability to feel. Sometimes we, we or get to a place whether because of life experiences, um, you know, grief, pain, or what have you, um, and we have our, our souls become unhealthy, and so we become numb, right? We don't allow ourselves to feel. But emotions and feelings are okay. God, God Jesus, you know, had emotions, right? Jesus wept, it um, says that Jesus wept over Jerusalem, amen, in Luke 19. So being honest and being open about our feelings and our emotions, it's okay, right? God created us that way, amen? So studies even show show that um, tears can release uh, endorphins that can ease the pain physically and emotionally, right? So it's, it's healing when we express in our feelings and our emotions, amen? And then it's, it's kind of watch what motivates us, right? Ask ourselves, do some soul searching. What motivates, mo motivates us? Who are we, right? Um, we are not to be motivated by this world or the things of this world, amen? Jesus even um, told his disciples uh, uh, not to be motivated by the world or not let the world um, motivate their decisions, right? Uh, Matthew 16 um, says, for whoever will save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What can you, you know, what, what can you exchange? What can you give in return for your soul, right? Amen. So when, when our love for God and, uh, and other, it motivates us, right? It motivates us, which allows our souls to be and live the way they were intended to. God wants our souls to thrive, amen? Um, not to be restless and downcast and heavy laden, right? So we love because we are created to love. Um, and first and foremost, you know, we are created to love God. You know, we need to love God first. It says that we are to love him with all of our heart, mind, and soul. Amen. According to Matthew 22. So loving God, uh, it brings everything into unison. It brings um, our will into his will, right? It brings our heart, our soul, and our minds into unison with God, which allow, which leads us to a life of peace. Amen. So God desires a relationship with us, people. Um, our souls is an essential part of who we are, of our being. Amen. And so our souls make up our unique selves, right? makes us who we are, like I said. And so when we're neglecting our souls or neglecting to nourish our souls, then we are neglecting a vital part of our being. Amen. So listen, let's be intentional. And take the time to nurture our souls by spending some time with God, by being still, right? By getting, listening to his word, reading his word, praying, and just being still and tuning into his sweet, still, small voice. Amen. And um, just, just, just listen to see what God wants to tell us. He has so many things to tell us and to show us, but we can't hear it. We can't see it. It was too busy. We're so busy and we don't take time just to be still, 
breathe and allow God to speak. So listen, until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, blessings. Mm -hmm.